All right, here we go, guys. So, in my previous video, I did tell you that I replaced the um, hot gas solenoid valve. So, I did uh, pop that back in here. Uh, pop the oil back in. Uh, plugged it in the 220 current, and uh, did a deep vac and recharged the unit. So. Right now, what it did was um, it opened, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, it opened up the um, water inlet solenoid that is going to go into this pan here until that sensor, water level probe in there, senses that it, um, it has enough water. If it doesn't sense and the water is overflowing, you need to replace that. And this here, this part, that is the um, ice thickness probe. So when the ice is full, um, then it go ahead and um, it starts to crack, and then it um, gives order to the board to go into harvest cycle. So we're gonna wait until it goes into harvest to see if this uh, solenoid valve takes care of the issue. So what we're going to do when it goes into harvest, we're going to see if there's 220 from uh, given order from the board to the solenoid valve here. I'm going to just pull this a little bit. So let's see right now what it is. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand, hold the phone, take a video. So right now it is zero. So when it goes into harvest, then it's gonna give us 220. But meanwhile, it's gonna take 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through some parts with you guys. So uh, we already spoke about the water inlet solenoid, which is back here. So what happens is the sequence, it goes into dump. Uh, so it goes through the dump valve, it takes out the water from the pan here. So it goes into dump. And then once it does that, it's gonna take its time and then it's going to go ahead and disperse some water into there until we get to the proper level, which is in here, the water level probe in there. And then, like we said, it's going to run through the coil until it makes the ice. And then this ice thickness probe here will indicate that the ice is full on the VAP coil or on the coil. And uh, it'll go ahead into the, into the cycle. One of the issues I also had was um, this sensor here. It, um, when, when it went into harvest mode, this, this kept the fan running, so um, so it didn't uh, it didn't do the proper superheat for the unit itself. So the ice didn't drop when it went into harvest because the the fan kept running. So I went ahead and uh, replaced this right here, and uh, it worked great for a while. So. This board is, is a little different uh, than the other Manowak units. Um, but if you actually get into the board a little bit, you can still see what is going on here. Like the ITP, ice thickness probe, water level probe, right bin, left bin. And uh, over here, you're gonna have these first two flashing and then uh, the third or fourth one will um, turn red when it's into harvest and then you have your relays here so when it goes into harvest you're gonna count from here one two the third one will turn red when it's into harvest cycle and uh, that pretty much is it if you have any um, indications that there's a fault it will pop up here like um, a triangle with a bunch of lines on it so you press and see what the fault is. 
and um, if you're having the same issue a lot of people have it I've been reading online because I was um, googling stuff and uh, a lot of people have had this issue but um, tech support will always tell you to uh, go ahead and replace the board but I don't think it's uh, the board itself you gotta see the current coming into the solenoid first when it goes into harvest if it gives you 220 and the suction line is still at like 40 45 uh, psi and the high is still the same then it didn't do the reverse that it's supposed to for the hot gas to uh, to go into the unit You know what, I will just uh, make a follow-up video and um, so we don't have to uh, videotape this whole 15 minute cycle.